Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This video is about to find the linear density for FCC 112 direction and the video for uh, linear density of these conventional directions is already uploaded and you can check it out its link in description box. Um, uh, the video is uploaded for BCC and FCC both of the lattice are considered separately in separate two videos. So uh, let's get started with this one. This is a requested video and if any of you have any request or any problem or any query then you can ask me in comment section um, I will surely address it as soon as possible so let's get started first of all we have to draw the lattice okay this is the first step that you make uh, in finding out the linear density because you have to visualize what kind of direction it is and um, which atoms are being intersected by this line okay you have to draw the direction actually so this is the unit cell with that point as origin if all of the uh, miller indices are positive then you take this point as origin if any of them is negative then the origin has to be shifted in order to make it within one unit cell okay so uh, this is the origin and this is the x-axis this is y-axis and this is z-axis you have to uh, define the coordinate system so after drawing the uh, unit cell and defining the coordinate system the second step is to draw the direction and for drawing the direction within a single unit cell you have to follow these steps first of all uh, this is the uh, miller indices corresponding to x direction y direction and this is for the z direction okay for getting the coordinates the proper coordinates that will be taken in order to uh, draw the direction uh, you have to uh, take LCM of these three Miller indices. Okay, I am taking LCM in side work 1, 1, and 2. They are the three digits, and I took three digits right there. So its LCM will be um, 2 also. Okay, 2 ones are 2. So LCM of these three Miller indices is 2. Now you have to divide uh, all three Miller indices with the LCM of these three Miller indices, which was 2. So I am dividing 2 by each of these Miller indices. So this is what we get and 1 over 2 1 over 2 and 1 these are the final coordinates of the uh, 1 1 2 direction uh, so that the direction will lie within a single unit cell okay so in drawing the direction uh, you have to uh, draw the unit cell then you uh, identify the uh, appropriate coordinate system and after defining the appropriate coordinate system you have to uh, take the LCM of the three Miller indices non zero Miller indices okay if it is zero right there uh, if zero is one of the Miller indices uh, then you will not take it uh, in LCM process okay only non zero digits are taken and their LCM will be taken and will divide all of these uh, Miller indices with the LCM uh, that we get as a result and after dividing you will get the final coordinates that you will uh, use to draw the direction okay so 1 over 2 for x direction 1 over 2 for y direction and 1 for z direction okay from origin it is a, a process for drawing the direction for drawing the plane the process is different okay so uh, from origin we will move half unit along x axis half unit which is half like that okay because it is x direction and this whole length is one and its half will be there so this is half along x direction then half along y direction this is y direction so from this point onwards you will move half along y direction okay this is a half along y direction somewhere like there okay this is the whole length one and its half is here so uh, this is half along x and then half along y then one unit along z which means at the um, phase of the unit cell upper phase of the unit cell which is this point okay this is the final destination and you will draw a vector from origin to this final destination point we will draw a vector and this is the direction 1 1 2 okay so this is the final um, vector okay whose linear density we will be finding out so i am just designating it, it as 1 1 2 direction now keep in mind that the unit cell is fcc will draw the necessary atoms that we think that will lie on this line okay so here is the one potential atom okay this is the line which we are considering these lines are not relevant now okay 
only this line is relevant this is the uh, line of interest line of our interest so this is the first atom corner atom that is potentially lying on this uh, line and the other atom will be the center most atom here okay that will be lying uh, on the line all other atoms are lying outside of this line none of the other atom will be lying on this line if you consider other atoms then the other atoms will lie somewhere like there 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 and there all other atoms will lie outside of this line none of the atom will lie right there i tried to uh, explain you by drawing it like there but it's very difficult for us to visualize when it's like fcc there are too much atoms and it's difficult to visualize that which atom is like in this phase and which atom is like in this way so uh, that is why to avoid confusions um i hope you got the point that only these two atoms will contribute and others uh, will not be there so let us now use the formula for finding the linear density which is net number of atom lying on the line on the line okay divided by the length of the line all right so we need to find out the net number of atoms that lie on this line whose linear density we want to find divided by the length of the line so now let us find the net number of atoms that lie on the line for uh, here we take the contribution of an atom to the line as one if the line cuts the whole atoms diameter okay if the line of our interest cuts the whole diameter of the atom okay if it cuts the whole diameter the complete diameter then we take its contribution to the line as one okay and we count as uh, it as one atom is contributing to the line okay if the line is cutting only half the diameter which is like radius of the uh, atom if it is touching only the half of the diameter then we take its contribution uh, to the line as half okay if half the diameter is being cut by the uh, line then we take its contribution as half and if whole diameter is being cut by the line then we take its contribution as one okay it's simple it's depending upon uh, how much diameter is being intersected by the line of our interest now here we can see uh this is the center point of the atom and the vector is starting from the center point towards the edge which is radius you know okay it is cutting only the half the diameter not the whole diameter it's the radius which is being intersected by this line so for this atom uh the this atom's contribution to this line is half only okay for the reason i explained here because uh it is intersecting only half the diameter and the similar case is there also we can see here this is the center point and uh, from edge to the center is radius which is intersected by this line which is half contribution of this atom to the line again okay so the net number of atom that contributes to the line is half plus half half by this atom and half by this atom all right uh, this whole uh, decision is based upon uh, these two things that line is intersecting how much of the diameter okay if it is uh, intersecting the whole diameter it's one if it is uh, intersecting one third of the diameter it's one third if it is intersecting the half the diameter which is radius then it will be half you know mostly it's half or one but others are also possible so one uh, uh, by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is uh, related to net number of atom lying on the line the next one is length of the line we need to find out the length of the line let us denote it with small l and let us denote the linear density with lambda and 112 showing that it's the lambda for 112 direction let us call it as one okay now let us find the length of the line and to find the length of the line we'll use the distance formula the length of the line could be found if the initial and the final point of the line uh, is defined is known in terms of its coordinates okay if you know the coordinates of the initial and the final points of the line then you can find out the length of the line very easily so um length of the line is equals to x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square okay multiply the units in which the um unit cell is calibrated like its lattice parameter which is let's say a okay uh, you have to let it uh, in the start let a be the lattice parameter 
okay so we'll multiply it outside the under root we'll multiply it with the lattice parameter okay so this is the formula for the length and here uh, x1 is origin okay y1 is 0 and z1 is 0 because the initial point is origin and the coordinates will be 0 corresponding to that and the final point is 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 okay these points will be taken note that one okay these were the coordinates that we uh, took to draw the direction so we'll use that one those coordinates only not the other one so this is it okay now we'll put the value right there and uh, it's minus 1 square minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square plus minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 square okay because 0 doesn't uh, brings any difference so in the next step we'll take the square which will become uh, half plus uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 under root into a okay and 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 is 3 by 2 okay times a so under root 3 by under root 2 times a this is the length of the line now we'll put these value into the uh, equation 1 which was 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 divided by l 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 divided by l putting the value of l right there we get uh, this under root 2 gets over there under root 2 by under root 3 a this is the linear density for 1 1 2 direction and where a is the lattice parameter all right where is lattice parameter and you uh, its units will be atoms per meter uh, per meter sorry okay atoms per meter its unit will be atoms per meter because it's linear density that that is why there is per meter unit right there so that is it and in, in addition to uh, this we can also express the linear density in terms of the atomic radius as for FCC there is a fixed relation between the lattice parameter A and the atomic radius capital R which is which is A equals 2 under root 2 capital R so we will put the value of small a right there to express the linear density in terms of uh, atomic radius which will become under root 2 by under root 3 into a where a's value is 2 under root 2 into capital R under root 2 under root 2 cancels out and we, we are left with an 1 over 2 into under root 3 capital R as the linear density in terms of the atomic radius okay similar thing could be done for BCC lattice also uh, and I will make its video also if you want me tell me in comment section if you want then I will upload it I hope you got the topic and uh, do like share and subscribe do share with others uh, who might uh, find it helpful take care and goodbye